Hi friends, this is Pastor Kathy. Now we begin Lent. What is Lent, you might ask? Not pocket Lent, not dryer Lent. Lent, L-E-N-T. Lent is from the old English word for spring. And the early church practiced a 40-day period of preparation before Easter. And now many different Christians around the world observe a Holy Lent. If you are watching this on March 2nd, today is Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is the beginning of Lent, this season in the church of 40 days, excluding Sundays, before Easter. The primary way that we observe Ash Wednesday is by confessing our sins, what we have done wrong, and returning to God in repentance by saying we are sorry. And then, after we have prayed, either as a whole church body or as individuals, we receive ashes on our foreheads in the shape of a cross, like this. When we do this, we say, remember that you are dust, and to dust you will return. This phrase is from Genesis chapter 3, where after Adam and Eve sinned by disobeying God. These words also echo what we say when we bury someone who has died, when we say, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. This symbol of putting ashes on our foreheads in the shape of a cross reminds us of death and it invites us to release and let go of those things that come between us and God. And this is just a beginning. During this holy season of Lent, when we prepare our hearts to celebrate Easter, we can spend this time reflecting on how our lives interact with God and how we can grow closer and closer to God. One way that we can practice this is through daily devotions, scripture reading, and prayer. Our church, Trinity United Methodist Church, is sharing devotions for our families to read, and I'll be sending out daily scripture verses and prayers. If you'd like to join me in daily prayers, you can sign up for our Remind texts. There are instructions in the doobly-doo below. In our daily practice of Lent, we remember that it is a practice, and we celebrate the grace that God shares with us through these Lenten practices. Peace be with y'all. Goodbye.